Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. As you can see, we're in Cartcraft. I bought this about two weeks ago. I haven't had a huge amount of time in it. I've done a couple of races and a couple of time trials, but I absolutely love it. I love the closeness of the racing. I love the intensity of it. So I thought what we'd do is do a 10 lap race around Geelong in the X30s. Um, and no doubt I will punt the hour everywhere as this is my first real foray into kart sim racing. Uh, I'd love anyone's tips or feedback. And um, if anyone's actually raced at Geelong, I'd love to know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's everything, but I'll, uh, I'll try not to embarrass myself too much here. Just making it through these first two corners seems to be a mission in itself. The AI just wants to kill you here. So, okay, so we're through. <laughs> um, now, serious talk, I've been trying to minimise my steering inputs. Uh, I've noticed that... Oh, that was horrible. I've noticed that I've um, maybe picked up some bad habits from, from car racing. Um, in that I tend to overdo my inputs, especially on correcting. I've noticed that for a while now, I mentioned it in one of my previous videos, and I'm hoping that driving here will help, help fix that. Um, because you tend to overcorrect here, and the cart will just bog down. Um, whereas if you keep the, the inputs kind of steady and controlled, the cart behaves, and, I, and I'm getting that I need to really concentrate on feeling and listening to what the, the rear of the cart's doing and then have my minimum, minimal inputs to correct so hoping that translates back into some of the other sims that I drive um, loving loving how close the racing is how intense it is how you're always making input changes um, I'm also really impressed with how uh, well optimised the seams already I know it's been out for a little while uh, in early access but it's using the Unreal 4 engine and there's another sim that's out there now um, that is also using the Unreal 4 engine and it's in my opinion not brilliantly optimised um, oh, totally bought that dive um, but this one seems to be running very well but of course there is the telltale little signs that it's Unreal 4 engine like the uh, the motion blur there on the car in front that you can't really do anything about, you can't turn it off. Um, but that's my only gripe so far. Absol absolutely loving this experience. So I'll be um, I'll be uh, coming back to this time and time again, I think, and I hope the team really kind of builds on the tracks that they've got. Um, and I know each one is pretty much laser scanned, so they're all spot on. And I've been taking a look at um, Beckley this track uh, it seems pretty much 100% <laughs> accurate I don't know I, I mean I haven't raced there but from all the images I've seen this seems pretty in the footage pretty, seems pretty spot on oh, messed that up come on let's see if we can get top five come on Trying not to smash these guys. Come on. Got him, got him, got him, made it stick. Oh, popped down a bit there. That's what I'm talking about, that just that little tiny overcorrection then. Really impacts your performance. These carts, the X30s, bog down and then it takes a while to pick back up again. Trying to ride the curves too, but we're not using as much of the track as I should be. Um, but I'm just still trying to get used to it. I'm trying to ride those curves. I know the team said that they've corrected the bug that causes the cars to, to flip, so I'm trying to attack, but I um, just probably need a little bit more time in the sim. Noticing a few little audio bugs though right now, so I don't have any engine noise whatsoever at the moment. It's just disappeared, so it's like I've lost a channel. And here behind, oh, 
I've got tyre noise and wind at the moment. That's all right though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's got the attack. Awesome. This is awesome. Go, 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 go. Last lap. Oof. Oh, that's a shame. I thought I, I thought I might be able to get in then. Oh wow, that was awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.